Our topic is about service area of a cylinder. For us to understand better, I want us to begin by modeling a cylinder so that when you are getting area, it will be very easy for us to know how to go about, how to apply the formula. A cylinder is of this kind of a shape. This is a rectangle, as you can see. When I fold this rectangle like that, it becomes cylindrical. It was a rectangle. Once I fold it, it becomes cylindrical. It has a top here. The top part here is circular, as you can see. And also the bottom part is circular. It has a rectangle. And how do we get area of a rectangle? Area of a rectangle is length times width. So length times width, we get the area. So a rectangle basically has a length and then it also has a width, as you can see. So this cylinder, as you see it there, it has this part, which is this rectangular part. And then also it has two circles at the top and here at the bottom. So the two circles and this rectangle make up a cylinder. So can we now come up with a cylinder practically? The rectangle, once we fold it, as you can see, our length becomes circular. So going around any circular shape, that is circumference. And how do we get circumference of a circle? Circumference of a circle is equals to pi d. And then our wing here, once we fold it, to acquire that shape, it becomes the height of this cylinder. This is our height. This is the diameter of our cylinder. So, if you want to get the area of this rectangle now, once I fold it, it becomes what we call curved surface. So the area of the curve service is just basically the area of the rectangle, which is the length times width. And our length after folding becomes the curved service. So the circular part here, it is this length. So our L, our length becomes pi D, which is the circumference. And our width becomes the height. Therefore, the area of our rectangle here, which was length times width, now becomes pi d times h, which is pi d h. And all this is what we call the curved surface. So let us now fold our cylinder nicely. Now we have our cylinder. The rectangle has acquired a curved surface. It has been curved to form this kind of a shape, like this one. Or you can also compare it with this kind of a shape. This container, uh, common in our houses, they ha it's a cylindrical shape, as you can see. So this curved part is exactly this one. Why we normally put a label for marketing purposes. Like for example, if you look at a blue band container, like this one, it has the curved surface. This is the curved surface. Initially, this part, before it was curved, it was just a rectangle, like what you have just seen. So, step by step, now we have our curved surface. Now, also a cylinder is made up of two circles, as we said. The first circle is put on the, on the top, the other one is put at the bottom, like that, as you can see. So these are two circles on the top and also at the bottom. As you can see now, we have our complete cylinder. We have already made up our cylinder. So our cylinder was made up of the two circles plus the, the, the shape that we already curved 
to become like this the shape that was initially a rectangle so now how do we get the area of the circles area of a circle of a circle is equals to pi r squared and because a cylinder has two circles the top and the bottom one that we are going to say the area now of the two circles is going to be 2 pi r squared therefore total surface area of a cylinder is equals to the area of the curved surface plus the area of the two circles so we begin by the area of the two circles plus now the area of the curved surface and the area of the circles is 2 pi r squared we are saying 2 pi r squared because there were two circles and we know very well the area of a circle is pi r squared and because now there are two we are saying 2 pi r squared so 2 pi r squared plus the area of the curved surface and we saw that the area of the curved surface is pi d h pi d h and therefore by this we are now able to derive our formula for getting the surface area of a cylinder so it is 2 pi r squared plus pi dh at least now we know where this came from and where this came from so this is our net for the for the cylinder for example if you are told to find the total surface area of a cylinder that has a diameter of 40 and a height of 10 how do we go about now in terms of applying our formula that we've just derived a few minutes so find Total surface area of a cylinder whose diameter is fourteen centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters so in other words when i draw my cylinder it has our height a height of 10 centimeters and a diameter of 14 centimeters we begin by getting the area of the two circles and we know the area of a circle is pi r square and because there are two we shall say 2 pi r squared plus our curved surface so this is the area of the circle plus our curved surface which is pi d h so 2 times 22 over 7 which is our pi times our r remember we are given diameter so from diameter we can change our diameter into radius by dividing into 2 because 2 radiuses makes one diameter what do i mean if it's a circle we know that one is a diameter so any line a half of the diameter is what we call a radius so now we are changing our 14 to by to a radius by dividing by 2 once you divide by 2 14 it becomes 7 so our r is 7 so 7 times 7 now we start cross multiplying by 7 7 divided by 7 1 7 divided by 7 1 2 times 22 is 44 44 times 7 7 times 4 is 28 we write 2 carry 8 carry 2 7 times 4 is 28 plus 2 is 30 and now we get our area as 308 this is the area of the two circles now let's now get the curved surface area of the curved surface the area of the curved surface is pi 
d h which is now our pi is 22 over 7 times our diameter which is 40 and our h with our height which is 10 set by 71 by 72 2 times 22 is 44 44 times 10 it's 440 now we have the area of the two circles and also we have the area of the curved surface now for us now to get total surface of that total surface area of the cylinder that we put these parts together the curved surface plus the area of the two circles so 308 plus 440 when we add we get 8 8 plus 0 is 8 0 plus 4 is 4 3 plus 4 is 7 and now our total service area is 748 centimeters squared thank you very much for watching and i want to encourage you to subscribe and continue following me and you do more practice in the primary mathematics page 135 i wish you the best bye bye <laughs>